Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.3 O Partha, do not behave like a onyuk. It does not befit you. Abandon this petty weakness of heart, O chastiser of the foe, and arise to battle. Sar Ardavarshini Here the word klebyam means impotence in the form of timidity in performance of one's dharmic duty. Krishna is saying, O Partha, although you are the son of Brita, you are being a coward. Sri Bhagavan thus uses the words Ma Smagamaha. Do not be a coward. He is saying, such impotence befits a kshatriya of the lowest order. But you are my friend. Therefore, in no way does it befit you. You, Arjuna, may say, O Krishna, do not doubt me, thinking that I lack courage. I am enthusiastic to fight. Rather, please understand that from a religious point of view, my decision to not fight is a sign of discretion. To show respect to my gurus such as Bhishma and Drona. And it is a symptom of my compassion for the sons of Dhritarashtra who are weak and about to die from the wounds caused by my weapons. My answer to this is Shudram. This is not discrimination and compassion, but rather lamentation and delusion. Both reveal weakness of mind. Therefore, O Parantapa, abandon this weakness of heart and stand up and fight. Para refers to enemies and Tapa to causing pain. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti Sri Bhagavan said, For Kshatriyas who are brave and situated in their prescribed religious duty, to be cowardly in battle is not befitting or glorious. Having been born from Prita, from a portion of Indra, the king of the demigods, you are as brilliant and powerful as he. Besides this, since I am Maha Maheshvara, the supreme controller, and you are my friend, you are very influential. Therefore, such cowardice does not become you. If you claim that such behavior is not cowardice, but wisdom and compassion, then I say this is not so. It is not the wisdom and compassion, it is lamentation and delusion born from weakness of mind. Wisdom and compassion do not give rise to delusion. From your previous statement, Gita 1.30, it is clear that your mind is becoming deluded. It is appropriate to mention here that once being greatly pleased by the service of Kunti, the sage Durvasa gave her a bon in the form of a mantra by which she could summon any demigod to appear before her and fulfill her desires. On the order of Maharaj Pandu, Kunti chanted the mantra to call Yamaraj, the god of religion, Vayu, the wind god, and Indra, the lord of the demigods. As a result, Yudhishthira, Bhima and Arjuna respectively were born, through the twin Ashwini Kumaras, Pandu's second wife, Madri, gave birth to Nakula and Sahadeva.